Back on WCW Prime, Cruise in the American Dream. Time now for our Prime Cut Match of the Week. As you recall, last week here on the Prime, as we look forward to Bash of the Beach, Dusty promised us uh, 500 different moves, right? 500, was that the number? There were so many, so many moves going on for this big move match, tag match, that the scoopers that we were having to use, we had so many cattle running around in the studio, I left them out. I took the biggest and baddest bull, and I brought him out here with his horns sticking up, tongue as long as the Nile River. The baddest move of all. This tag match is going to get brutal. It's going to get rough, because we at war. Back to the beach, we at war. And the day on the prime, we go to war. This is a deep move, deep-seated, bad move. This is the move that beat all the other 499 moves out. This is the main move, the low move, and I'm going to give it to you, like it or not, right here on the prime. Look how low this big bull is. <laughs> Good move. I liked it. I liked it. I did. Oh, yeah. It's big time. Just so long, it's just different. Every week, you yeah, never know what you're going to get no, from you. No, you got to be different, man, because if you come complacent. If, it's like these athletes. They, if, if we just say, well, we're going back up and not going to fight this thing out with these two guys and whoever the third guy going to be at Badger the Beach, then we're just going to become complacent. Well, who is the third guy going to be? I have no idea. Oh, come on. you got some idea. You, I think you might know. I, I, I got a good idea, but I ain't going to tell nobody. Well, we're going to find out live. I got to make sure. I got to I gotta make sure. You know, I don't less, spread rumors. Less than a week away at Bash at the Beach. You know, I'm coming back from uh, going away to Guatemala for a couple of days. I heard that. I hope you don't catch nothing. And come, huh? And coming back just to see you Bash at the Beach. You're going fishing down there? Absolutely. Yeah. So I'll when catch they tell you don't drink the water, that's bull. You can drink water, man. Just take it with you. Really? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll do that. Yeah. Thanks for the advice. And I want, I want you to bring me some sandals back. You see them sandals? That they, they make wear out of leather. tires? Yeah, yeah, with the tires on the bottom. Uh -huh. Yeah, I want some sandals well, like that. That's Vietnam. We're, we're 12 D. 12 D. Maybe 13. Maybe 13. Let me. Those are 15. No, they. No, they. No. Oh. But I'd like some. Bring me back further, and be sure and bring Die back. She's in the truck screaming, hollering right now. That's hacksaw Jim Duggan waving the American. You flag. need to bring her back. One of them Guatemala Latin lovers. I guarantee it. Yes, sir. What? Wow. She just screaming my headset. Stop it. There goes the eardrum and Craig the Pitbull Pitman. They're both taking on the faces of fear. Uh, interesting clash of styles here. I think. Hey, unorthodox team is on the left, right or wrong. On the left, your screen. I mean, Craig Pitman and Hacksaw Jim Duggan, two great Americans, yes. But boy, I tell you what, their styles really different. Teddy Long really had to be putting his thinking cap on to bring this thing together. Really got to give him a game plan. Look a at proud him. member of the Marine Corps, 15 years in action in the Marines, a wrestler uh, literally without peer in the Marine Corps. Well, they're in against some bad boys, the big uglies. I'm talking about face the fear. I'm not sure that, uh, that Craig the Pitbull Pittman has ever met a professional wrestler like the mysterious Ming. It is a jam-packed WCW Prime Arena here at the Disney MGM Studios, and we are about to see these two lock up. And Meng is a, well, let us just say he is a surprisingly good Matt wrestler when he wants to be. Now he's just going to back up and take his time at well over 300 pounds. Meng is a powerhouse extraordinaire, and Pittman is giving him his due, giving him his respect. No doubt about it. But you don't want to rush in there with me sitting over there in the corner. You rush in there, you get in a, in a situation where he does something to you. And there is Pittman doing the mandatory Marine Corps push-ups right here in the middle of a wrestling match. That takes a whole lot of... Uh... And there's about, there's about like five formers sitting out there watching Prime right now in their living room. They're saying, what the heck does that have to do with wrestling? I guarantee you they, they're saying that. And your answer, good old boys. your answer would be? Nothing. You do that before you come in. Because we've seen him do that before, and what happened? He get kicked. He sure did. Teddy right? Long need to take that out of his repertoire. Well, Meng is trying to find a way to get out of that hammerlock, and he doesn't find a way, goes for the ropes. That calls for the automatic break, and Pittman does it. But it looks like Meng has got Pittman's leg tied up. He won't let him go. Well, let him go. What are you doing? Well, the referee don't look down there, didn't see that there. He thinks that Pittman got mean, and he's told Pittman to break it up. And now Pittman, that was a good move by me. I'm telling was. you. 
psychology there. Now the referee is going to suspect Pittman of not uh, holding to the rules. And the fact is, it was Meng who well, they, caused it. They want to keep Hacksaw Jim Duggan out there with the big paws. Hands like bowling balls want to be coming down and a wailing and a swinging and, a, and, and really cranking on you. And they want to be able to, to keep him away from that situation. Now, when you say bowling balls, you're talking about 10 pins or about candle pins? I'm talking about the ball itself. His hands are as big as the ball itself. Bowling balls. The bowling ball sized hands. What about his head? What size would that be? Uh, his head is to? only about an eight, eight and a half. Small. And if he uses his head right right here, they can get him a win. I'm sure Taylor Long got him a good game plan, as I said earlier. Man goes for the hair. Bash at the man. beach right on us. Right on us. It sure is. Hacksaw Jim Duggan, in fact, he's got that tape fist Lord of the Ring match against Diamond Dallas Page. I mean, Diamond Dallas Page could easily lose that Lord of the Ring title and the ring that goes with it. Yeah, and he could easily win it, too, because he's been on such a roll. If you get him in a situation, see there? What is it? Oh, he come in out, hit it with him, bowling ball hands. Got him rocked right now, throwing him in. Big clothesline, got him down. Ming is there, another bowling ball. See that? Finds a way to, to get the Barbarian involuntarily involved in this match. And Duggan now with a whip on Ming, right in the corner, another lariat, and goes for the cover. Look out, in comes Barbarian, what a boot. <laughs> what a boot. I'm, I'm sure he ain't seeing that get kicked in the back of the head by a 300-pound man. I don't think he's saying anything right That's now. That's what I mean. But, they got him stunned. What is going on here? Oh, man. Well, Pippen, only, he's showing his inexperience. Only the face of fear know what's going on right now because they are control of the match. Is that a fact? How are you going to Guatemala? Uh, through Miami and then over the mountains. Could have driven through Mexico, but that would take three and a half days for the one-day layover in Guadalajara. Look at Teddy Long. So much concern here. I'll send you a postcard, though. No. Yes, There's please. the boot. Please do. I'll read it on the air. No, you won't. You'll taunt me again. Oh! Teddy Long got the two-by-four. The tape fist is coming up. Whoa! He almost hit Duggan from behind. And there it is. Stunned him. He's got one, two, and three. The faces uh, of fear go down to the feet. They lucked out on that one. I guarantee you. Mm. Where does Duggan get that tape? Out of his uh, tape keeping thing. He's got a tape keeping thing. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry I asked. Okay. Hey, oh! Hacksaw Jim Duggan. If he clocks Diamond Dallas Page at Bash of the Beach, we're going to see Hacksaw as the Lord of the Ring. Kind of, uh, kind of a different look for Hacksaw, don't you think? What's that? As the Lord of the Ring. Well, I'll tell you what. Very successful right here today on the Prime. Mm, I liked it. I Let's guarantee you, Teddy Long liked it, too. Let's see it again, Dusty, in our slow-motion instant replay. Well, here on the Prime. Bear went over there and picked up the two before and was going to do bad intentions to him. I can see it in his eyes. Teddy Long jumped up, grabbed the bar from the ball bearing, and then Duggan takes his fist, and, and the ball bearing still got the board, and he turns around, and he takes it away from Teddy Long, almost hits him in the ball head, and then right here, full laid him out. Victory time for Craig Pittman and Hacksaw Jim Duggan on the prime. An original way to defeat the faces of fear. And we're back with more here on WCW Prime in just a moment. Don't touch that clicker. We're right back. This portion of WCW Prime Wrestling is brought to you by Slim Jim. When you need a little excitement, snap into a beefy, spicy Slim Jim.